All right, what's up everybody? Mr. Jones here again. This is um, a video about the gradient or value scale. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how to do this um, and how to have success when you do this. Um, first of all, if you notice on my paper, um, I've labeled it so I have white here, gray in the middle, and black over here on the right side. Um, I wanna try my best to maintain those three values in those locations, but make it a smooth transition of value all the way through. The other challenge with this is you are not allowed to use one of these, okay? That's a no-no. So I want you to do this all with pencil. I don't want you to blend with your finger or tissue or anything like that. Just use the pencils, okay? So in order to do that, um, I've got a new, um, grid that I got set up and I'm just going to show you how I would go about doing this all right so I like to start um, I always start with the darkest value first and so um, also I'm a lefty so this might we'll, we'll see how this goes um, but I'm going to start down here actually before I do anything I'm going to label this again um, so I'm going to have gray in the middle white over here on the left side and black over here on the right side. Okay, so now I've got my um, 6B pencil, okay? And that makes a really dark mark, okay? So I'm gonna start over here and just work on kind of establishing my the edges here. And start to fill that in. Now I'm using some short pencil strokes. Notice I'm not like going all the way long like that. Um, I'm using very short horizontal strokes. I could do short vertical strokes and just kind of layer those. I could even do circular strokes, you know, where I'm kind of um, overlapping the strokes like this. So I'm gonna go over top of this because I can see that um, I've left some areas, the, the way that this graphite is filling in, it's leaving some areas white. So I'm, I'm going in and filling this in. Now, as I transition out of black into, you know, a dark value, but it's not super dark, it's, it's not as black, um, I'm lightening up on the pressure that I'm using. I'm not pushing down as hard, but I'm using the same techniques. I'm using short strokes, I'm overlapping, and I think I actually, I'm gonna transition over to the 4B pencil um, right here. So I'll do my little test here, right? And I can feel a difference in the pencil as I use it. I can feel that it's different than that 6B. And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of I want this transition between the black and this next value to be um, real nice and smooth. And so I'm using these circular strokes to kind of, uh, you know, help to blend that together. The circular strokes um, really like overlap like this. And so they fill in those spots, right? If we do vertical strokes, they're gonna go like this. And so there's not much overlap there, all right? Same with like horizontal. There's not necessarily much overlap um, to where it's it's a nice like smooth transition. So that's why I'm recommending the kind of these circular short strokes like this. I'll try not to talk through this too much so that you can use this for a ASMR video and fall asleep to it or something. All right. Um, I'm going to transition. I'm going to switch over to my 2B pencil. Do a little test here. See a little difference there in the way that that um, feels. And I'm going to start to extend this out even a little bit further. Now, this isn't necessarily done for me. Um, I'm probably going to revisit this um, and kind of refine it as I get a little further along. But for right now, um, this is a good, um, kind of like a base layer, 
Drawing is all about layers. So don't stress too much if things don't look exactly perfect or exactly right, um, right from the get-go, right after the first pass. Sometimes you'll need to, uh, I should correct that, you'll always need to come back and refine and edit. It's like writing a paper, you know? You're always gonna come back and edit that paper, um, proofread it, you know, check it over again, that sort of thing. Um, the other thing that you might find helpful, um, because I'm a lefty and I'm, I'm going over this part of my paper, I'm gonna use a clean piece of paper, like from the uh, printer, and keep it under my arm so it keeps this part of my paper protected from getting smeared and messed up. So I'm still doing my circular strokes and um, I don't have much transition here. This is pretty good, but then this all is kind of very similar, but that's okay. I'm gonna come back and refine it. So I'm gonna establish this, all these gray tones first. I'm gonna actually switch to my uh, B pencil. So I got B right here. Sometimes these pencils, obviously, if you need them for detail, you want them to be sharp. But sometimes for um, blending and doing stuff like this, it really helps to have um, have them not have that sharp point on them. Um, when they're a little bit more blunt, it actually helps because um, it, it just creates a softer line. So I'm going to kind of go back in with this pencil and fill in um, some of that the other area that I've done where my other softer lead uh, graphite sh has not really filled in quite as much. So it kind of helps with these transitions a bit. I'm getting closer and closer to this area that's supposed to be white. So I want to be careful that it's not a harsh, um, it's not a harsh change from white to gray. I want it to be real smooth. So as I get over there, um, I'm going to be very sensitive to that and kind of ease up again on my pressure. But I'm also going to switch to um, my other pencils. So I'm going to switch to my HB pencil. The HB pencil is probably the most similar to a regular graphite that you'd find in a number two pencil or mechanical pencil or something like that. It's, it's pretty much your all around pencil. Um, you can you can achieve a lot of different values with it. Um, but again, that's kind of like the, the most, I guess the most versatile or like one that you might be used to. Um, I didn't use it too much. I'll probably come back to it, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab my 2H pencil, the, the lightest one. Uh, this has a very sharp point on it. Um, so it's making some pretty defined um, pencil strokes. So I'm going to um, do a little trick where I turn the pencil on the side and I hold it on top and I just use the side of the pencil rather than the point just to kind of establish some value and I'm, I just want to go really light here into the white and I'm going to use my kneaded eraser to kind of um, help me get that transition so as I mentioned in the other video We've got these kneaded erasers, and I'm just gonna break off a piece of it so it's a bit smaller, kind of pull it and stretch it um, to clean it. And then I'm gonna use this to just kind of lightly um, use this almost as a drawing tool itself to kind of blend, or not blend, but like erase some of the value that I applied so I kind of get this nicer, kind of smoother transition in here. Then I'm gonna go back, like I said, I'm in this this point of like refining and getting everything um, blended well. It's not a race to the finish. This is a, it's a process, you know, just like anything we do. Everything's a process, everything takes time. You wanna get good at something, you gotta practice. I feel very Bob Ross right now. Not gonna lie, really like that. He's a he's a good dude. I used to watch him when I was a kid. Watch him as an adult. Pretty interesting documentary on Netflix right now about him and his life. Um, as you may notice, I'm using all the pencils now on the side. 
to kind of help me establish some of these, um, get my transitions a little bit more smooth and um, I guess solid as well. Okay. I feel like I go, it's pretty drastic from the black to almost like this gray right here is pretty solid gray. There's not much happening there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back in here and kind of push this stuff a little bit further out so I can kind of build up a little um, transition here. So it feels a little bit more natural. Okay, so that's going pretty well. Um, some of you might, are probably gonna, this is gonna drive you nuts that the edges of this are getting really soft and like not very defined. If you wanna go back with a ruler and kind of, you know, redefine the edges of this thing, that is totally fine, I get it. Um, I can relate to that. So I would probably work on this a little bit more. Um, we'll compare the two that I've done here. So, this is the one that I feel like um, I've got a nice transition. This is one that I've obviously just been working on and it's getting there. I need to, I need to refine it and do it a little bit more, but um, it's coming together pretty well. So that's my little uh, not so short lesson on uh, the gradient value scale and how to blend just using a pencil. All right, till next time, peace.